Hello my fellow sparklers. Today I am doing an unboxing. This one I got a couple months ago. Um, this brand is offered on Amazon. It's called Dylan's Cabin. Um, I'm not a big supporter of Amazon, because, um, but sometimes you can only find a certain brand on there and nowhere else. So um, I do like this brand. It's a good one and it actually comes in a box and not just wrapped up in a piece of plastic. And uh, their drill field is the size that is advertised and not the canvas, so that I also appreciate. And they almost always have a picture of the diamond painting as it is rendered, um, so you kind of get an idea of what it'll look like. Um, so uh, this is this one came really quickly. It was stateside, I guess, in a warehouse somewhere. It came Amazon Prime within two days, and this came, I'm guessing, China Mail. It said it could take from mid-August to early September. Um, but it came earlier. It came July 22nd. So it only took about three weeks. No, four weeks. This took almost one full month. But it did uh, say it would take six to eight weeks. So I think they're kind of advertising longer times than they think it'll take so people won't get mad and ask for refunds. So uh, I'm going to look at this first one. These are all so cute. I just really like a lot of the images they have to offer. So um, they're poured glue, and I got my weight today. This is a candle, my mom made candle holder. So let me put scissors down on this end. Okay, so you see uh, he's just this cute little dragon dipping his tea bag in a cup of tea. Um, I love this image because I have lots of teacups, uh, I drink a lot of tea. Um, and so I, I'm drawn to images with teacups and I like the colors and the dragon. It's really cute. Um, so I'm going to measure it. It says it's a 30 by 40, I think is what most of them, they actually give them in inches on Amazon. So I'll measure them in inches. I think it's supposed to be 12 by 16. So it's a little shy of 12. It's about 11 and a half. It's not bad. I'll give them half an inch. And then it similarly is just shy, half an inch shy of 16. So um, it's a decent size. Um, it looks nicely rendered. We get a close look at the drill field. You can see it's very clear. And they go light in the dark squares and dark in the light squares. And it's all uh, letters and numbers for this one at least. I think most of theirs are probably like this. And there are DMC codes. So there's not an inventory sheet, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. So you are kind of relying on them providing you with the correct number of diamonds. Um, you do get this, which is just some instructions on diamond painting. And then here are the drills, packaged in the, they're not the tiny ones, they're the medium sized ones. So, okay. This has 17 colors. I think I borrowed one for another diamond thing, so I'll probably have to come back to that. Um, aha, so here we have 154. Well, let me turn on my light. Sometimes there's, yeah, see so you get a good glare on that, but, um, 154, it's a really deep plum purple. Oh, like a light slate blue, 157. Peachy pink, 225. 310, two bags of that. 469, uh, it's kind of like a light olive green. And 470, even lighter, with one yellow shade. 554 light lavender, 676 butter yellow, 734, I'm going to say khaki tan, it's a tan with a hint of green, uh, 815 is a nice burgundy red, wine red, it's not very deep but it's really nice color, and then we have 820 which is an indigo blue, and deep forest green 890. And then it's 
12. Yeah, I'm missing 13, so I will grab that in a second. Uh, here we have kind of a straw yellow. Really nice golden color. Uh, I'll call it saffron. <laughs> it sounds better than straw. Um, 3807. It's like a dusty periwinkle blue. Uh, 3834 is a light plum. There's 3835, which is even lighter. So number 13 um, is 921. It's kind of a dusty light orange color, maybe deep, deep peach color. Um, I was trying to see if it would work for my Mother Earth, which I was trying to get a darker skin tone, and then I had to change the um, color on the cheeks because it didn't go. And I will post that in another video, but that's why. I had separated this out because I was seeing if it would work, but I found another color that um, I happened upon that worked great. So uh, that's it for this one. Let me put this away and then we'll check out the others. So here's the first box from the new arrivals, um, fresh off the boat or the plane. I think they came by plane, um, given the time they arrived. and. See how it's packaged, and I didn't show you a toolkit with the first one because I had already repurposed it. So we'll take a look at this one. Um, standard green tray, it's a bit nicer than the others, it's definitely wider. And it has ridges on the bottom. And that's so you can get two of these and break them apart, break apart diamonds that are stuck together, possibly. Just one use. Uh, it's slightly nicer pin with a three-placer. Well, the fact that it has a three-placer. And then they give you two things of wax, but also this one they gave me a little container. Pretty sure they gave me one with the other one as well, but I can't remember. And a pen, squishy. So, um, cute kit, and I think there's tweezers, but they're separate. So, these are all rounds. Um, I don't know if they sell squares. So, this one looks like double sided tape. Oh, okay. I already see an issue. We'll talk about that. Okay, so, get the instructions, Oop, you can go over there, uh -huh. and here are the tweezers, um, a nice decent pair, um, it's not the fanciest pair, but it's not that cheap, really bendable pair either, so pretty decent. And these are packaged in baggy, so a little bit different than that first one. I don't know if they're moving in a different direction, or if it's just one painting. Okay. So, uh, this is going to have rivers, I can tell. The canvases are fairly stiff. Uh, I mean, they're flexible enough, but yeah, this is relatively stiff. Let me pull up the corner. Yeah, that's definitely, this is definitely double-sided tape. I don't know if you can see it, but I could roll up that corner and pull this off if that was my desire. I'm just going to pull these up to flatten it out a bit first. So the issue I have up here, and it's something I can fix, is it didn't feel sticky. Okay, it is. It is sticky. But when I first pulled that back, there was like no stick. And oh yeah, this double sided tape barely brushes the top, so it, it'll work, but it's very close. Very, very close. Um, you see, pretty clear drill field. I think the dragon was a bit nicer. Um, this is decent, but the dragon was better. Well, let me take this whole thing off. And I see lots of rivers. Lots of rivers. Uh, okay. So I think it's pretty decent. This is actually supposed to be 35 by 45. Uh, there's the thumbnail. It's a lady with a basket of holly, and I think the little white dragon is helping her collect holly. So I thought it was very nice and wintry, and kind of a good one for the holidays. And I'm going to measure it, because it really doesn't look like 35 by 45 to me. <clears throat> and I see DMC codes on the side, so that's good. And I have centimeters, since we're working with that now. It is... Mm, not quite... well, it's about 30. Good. Didn't get it down. 
almost right at 30. So um, maybe that's why they say 35 by 45. Because this is going to be similar to the other one, I think. And that it's really 11 and a half. Yeah. Okay, nice and sticky. Let's see if we can measure this side. But let me do centimeters first. Lay down flat, that'll help. Um, about 39 and a half, so definitely not 45. And let me measure it inches. So it's probably going to be 15 and a half inches. Um, and it is. This one's a little bit over 15 and a half when I get it really flat. So that's what I expected, um, similar to the other one. It's 12 by 14. But I don't think the printing is as good. And double side tape is definitely not as good. I don't know. Can you see these rivers already forming? Um, there's a lot of little rivers already. Yeah, you see it there. And like all of this here, it looks like an imprint from the plastic, but it's rivers. There's some here and here and here. So um, not as impressed with the second one. I think it'll still be cute, but just not quite as good as the first one. So let's take a look at the drills. So I like that these are packaged in baggies. Um, that does make them easier to kit up for me and some people like working directly from the baggies. And the DMC codes are here um, on the side this time. This one's definitely stiffer. It's just not as nice a canvas. It's okay. Um, okay, so number one is Deep Plum. 154. See if I can see all these numbers. Uh, two is like a, a gray, a light slate blue, I'd say. Really beautiful. Uh, that's 160. Number three is lavender. 340. Number four is a medium gray. It's uh, 413. Number five is like a, a lighter gray with a hint of purple, like a lavender gray. 14. 6 is a light stone gray. 415. So there's a big difference even though those are one number apart. Here we have a mushroom brown or maybe a minky brown. I like it. Taupe. Deep taupe. What, what other names can we think of it? So that one is 461. No, 451. For those who want to know. And this is a really light gray. It's almost cream. Um, and that one's four, five, three. Okay. Oh, and this one is one of my favorite, five, five, zero. Although I've seen it a bit more plummy. Um, but the current one I'm working on, it's almost straight up purple. So it's kind of a deep purple, five, five, zero. And we have an indigo blue. And that one is seven, nine, six. A light blue, really pretty. Uh, nine, nope, 800, 800, okay, can't see this. <laughs> Number 12 is a deep navy. That one is 823, as expected. 13 is a light tan. 842. 14 is a deep, deep forest green. And that one is 934. Here we have a dark brown. Uh, 938, and here we have a lighter brown, that one is, oh, is that number 21? He escaped. It's supposed to be over here, 3860, 16, uh, dark, dark navy, so this is 939, a lot of that in the background. Kind of not as many greens as I would thought, think, as I would think. Um, there's kind of a medium olive green. That one's three, three, six, two. Really light slate gray. And that one is three, seven, four, two. A really nice teal color, so I like that. Three, seven, five, zero. And I'll say medium periwinkle blue. And that's 3807. So it's a nice color palette. I, um, I guess I did expect a little bit more green with the holly, but it is a winter scene, so the trees are mostly 
not leafing out. Um, so cute. I, I'll be interested to see how this one drills up. Um, so let's move on to number three. Okay, um, as I was rolling this out to put it away, there's a huge air bubble. That is about half an inch wide if you can't see it from here. So what I will likely do with this canvas is um, I bought the diamond dots glue for Joann's and partly just for this purpose is I will peel off this entire um, double sided tape and I might try to do a video of that if anyone's interested um, and just paint my own poured glue onto it. So um, I have the means to do that and honestly it's probably going to be faster than trying to fight these rivers and oh, there's another one. It's just totally pulled away from the canvas in some places and it doesn't seem that interested in sticking that down. So um, yeah, really terrible double-sided tape. Great poured glue for the first one, terrible double-sided tape. Image is cute though. Really cute little dragon handing her holly. Um, Alright, so I will um, add that as a separate video, so look for that later. Because that definitely needs fixing. Yikes. Okay, moving on to painting number three. Um, we'll see how this one is. Hopefully it's poured glue. So, here we have the toolkit. Wax. Little tub of wax, which is so cute. Um, this wax is wrapped in plastic, so you could take that out and put drills in there if you wanted to. Um, and then the squishy and your standard pin with a three-placer. And uh, this green tray is, again, wider than the normal one, so it's kind of nice. It doesn't have a funnel, but it, it is open on the end. Okay, so we're looking in here, and already it looks like poured glue, so that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. This looks really good. I like this one. So this was called Forest Goddess, and it is based on a... Um, Finnish goddess, I think. I finished our Icelandic. Uh, and so this is another 30 by 40. It says 35 by 45. Or technically 12 by 16 is what they say on the uh, Amazon ad. There we have the tweezers. Forgot about those. Um, but yeah, this, this looks good. I like the way this is rendered. I just really like this image. I like the coloring. Um, she reminds me of uh, the Greek goddess Artemis, or Diana, she's known in Roman mythology, um, with the arrows and hanging out in the woods with the animals. Um, so, really harkens back to mythology. She has some beautiful armor on, um, and yeah, just overall a nice painting. I like it. So, let's check out the drills. We're back to um, our plastic packaging. I think those go with the pour glue. I, I like the baggies, but the condition of that double-sided tape was awful, so I will take these and a better canvas. Okay, so this has DMC codes. Let's get a close-up. This is DMC codes on the key. It's 22 colors. Everything looks clear, and um, yeah, I don't know, it just looks good. The DMC codes are also on the baggies for this one. So. Weigh that down, and get a look at these. We've got the last three are on their own. We have a deep teal, which is 3809. Uh, I come across that color a lot in my games. Um, a deep buttery yellow, which is 3822, and then this light brown, uh, kind of creamy brown, uh, 3864. So those are all nice. I like those. All these drills look good. Um, pretty. Yeah, I'm not seeing any visible trash, and they don't look oily or staticky. Although someone said staticky drills were supposed to be good. Though. Something to consider. Alright, 154 again, that's that deep plum purple. Uh, 310 for number 2. A khaki green, 371. 
Uh, lighter tan. It's a little bit. Well, you know what? This one just has a bit more gray, almost. Hmm. No, you know what? Like lavender, like a touch of lavender. And this one is definitely on the yellow side of tan. So four three six. Saffron yellow. Seven two nine. Uh, light light chartreuse maybe. Seven three four. One day I'll learn the DMC names for these colors. Uh, I'm going to call that one Deep Saffron. 783. We have our Dark Blue 823. We have a Deeper Tan 832. And this is an interesting brown. It's, it's a bit... I mean, it's dark, but it almost has a purplishness to it. I don't know if that's coming across. I like it. Uh, we kind of have this fawn brown, 898. Lime green, very vibrant, 907. Deep forest green, you can see that. It's 934. Uh, this regular brown, 938. Good. Turquoise, 992. Light yellow, 3078. Two bags of that, that's that background color. And then this nice sage green, 3363. Nice, just, uh, you know, it's a blue, but it's got a hint of teal, 3750. And then this, uh, another shade of tan, 3790. I'm not, I'm not surprised between the background and the armor and all the shades of tan, but um, it's a pretty nice set of colors. They look quality. So I think this one is going to work up nice, and honestly, I mean it's not something I would generally display in my home, um, but I think I'm going to put it in my closet. We have his and hers closet, so it'll be in my closet and I can peek at it for, um, you know, kind of a dose of girl power. So that is number three, and I'm so glad we're back to the poured glue, and uh, we will move on to the last one. Okay, I just had to remind myself of that goddess's name, and she was Finnish, and her name was Miliki. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, the Finnish goddess of forest and the hunt. Um, it also says she uh, was a healer and cared for the animals and uh, helped create the bear. Um, so, uh, really kind of neat piece of mythology. I hadn't really known before. Um, I was quite interested in mythology growing up of all sorts, Norse and Greek and Native American. Lots of interesting mythologies. So, here we come to the last painting, painting number four, and this um, is a 40 by 40. Uh, so, we'll have a look. And it looks clear. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. So, hopefully this is poured glue. It's a little crushed. Um, but if it's poured glue, it can deal with it. So, this is so cute. Um, I had to look this up. This is apparently a video game character called Poppy. And she is really cute. Uh, let me get my weights because this is really wrinkled over here, but it just needs to be laid flat. It's not, um, it's not bubbling up or anything. So, uh, that's a random bit of plastic. Okay. I don't know where that came from. The tweezers. And dandy toolkit, the wide green tray with opening, wax, wax pot, pen, three placer, squishy. And so here we have Poppy, and this is a holiday one that I got. Um, she's hanging out in her little, she, I think she is a little fawn person in the game. And uh, she's hanging out with these little tiny deer that are so stinking cute. Um, and she's got these deer ears and little horns, but she's also wearing the Santa hat or a winter hat and she's got a cloak and jingle bell. I just thought this was super cute and it doesn't come with ABs, but like this sweep here would look great with ABs and kind of um, gracing the snow. So I have some ABs I can add to this, but here are the drills. These came in baggies, so the baggies are not exclusive to the double sided tape. Um, this is a little bit all over the place, but that's okay. Before I do that, I'm going to measure it really quickly. So, this should be more or less a 40 by 40. 
and it's almost 40, it's 39 and a half by a little over 39 down here. Yeah, 30, um, 39 and a half. It's almost 40, so it's very, very close. Um, this is the closest one so far I mean, uh, in terms of the measurements. So I think this is rendered really well. I think it'll be a cute little piece to put up at the holidays. It certainly looks clear. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with this. The colors look good. There's 20 colors for this, which actually for the biggest one, I was kind of expecting a, a few more colors, but you know, it, it's a lot of color blocking. It's not as integrated and confetti like with the others, so kind of have swallows of color. Okay, we're gonna start from the end this time. So here we have kind of a medium teal, really nice, and that is 3789, really light blue, 3752, According to that, a lot of this. So this is a lot of the background. Um, it's a deep blue with a hint of teal. That is 3750. And, oh, this is a nice color. It's kind of um, like a light wine color. Really pretty. That one's 3721, if you have that. If you've come across it before. Here we have the bit of green. That's um, probably what's in her dress. That and some of the shadow, and there's not a lot of green in this. Uh, so it's a really nice, just kind of medium forest green, maybe. And that one is 3363. 15 is a light plum color, also really pretty. We got three, what's that say? 3041. These are really small. I would blow this up to put stickers on. 14, light peach, probably some skin tones. That's eight. Nope, nine, four, five. My bad. Okay. Thirteen is a dark forest green. That one's nine, three, four. Ooh. Twelve is like a slate blue. Really pretty. That one's nine, nine, three, one. I cannot read those tiny, tiny numbers. Here we have a brown, very expected with the deer. Uh, eight. Nine six for that one. Number ten, dark blue. I'm guessing this is eight two three, uh, and it is. Yeah. Nine really light pink. It looks a bit peaches in there, but it's it's more on the pink side than peach. And that one is nine one nine. Eight is really light gray. Uh, four, five, three. Okay. Here we have kind of a deep straw yellow. Four, three, six. Yep. And a standard light gray. That one is four, one, five. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is number five because there is no number five on there. I think the little sticker fell off or just got missed. It's not in the bag. Um, and, but it, it does match it. 413. So a couple of notches down from that. And number 4, I'm going to say is probably 310. And I'm right. Yes. Okay. Number 2. Oops. Let's go with 3 first. Here's a medium pink color. It's pretty. That one's 224. I don't think I've had 224 before. I'd have to look. But that seems new. I don't get a lot of the 200s. A nice stone gray. One five nope one eight nine and then one five four. So they use this color a lot, but I like it. Um, it's kind of replacing five five zero for me because it's a bit deeper. And sometimes the five five zero arrives and it's more full on purple than like a plummy jewel tone. So um, I'm quite happy with this. Other than it needs to be flattened, but it's it's not anything uh, irretrievable. So. Uh, the poured glue canvases for this company are pretty good. They're great. Uh, the double-sided tape was awful, and I don't know if it says in the description. I'll have to go back and look at the description 
and um, I'll post my findings down below in the description box. Oh, there's number five. It got stuck at number 12. But, um, yeah, so as long as it's a poured blue canvas, I'd say go for it. Um, or if you don't mind peeling off the double-sided tape and either putting on your own double-sided tape or um, using the diamond dots glue and, and doing your own uh, poured glue canvas, essentially. Um, but otherwise, it's good company. These were each $14, and then it was $3 shipping, and it was $3 shipping no matter how many you got. If you got one, it was $3. If you got five, it was $3. So um, it, was a, it was a pretty good deal. So, you know, 15 for each in total. Um, I think that's pretty decent. So that's my thoughts on Dylan's Cabin. Check him out on Amazon if you like these. They have a wide range of images. It's not just forest creatures and forest goddesses. Uh, but yes, I will enjoy doing these. These are ones I plan to keep. I'm not even going to give them away in all likelihood. Uh, they're ones I got to keep and enjoy. So, check it out. I hope this uh, informed any of you thinking of buying some of these canvases or one of the shops of where to shop on Amazon. Um, some of their stuff comes from the U.S. and some of their stuff comes from China. Just pay attention to those shipping dates. And that's all for this round. Keep on sparkling out there. Okay, so I just wanted to follow up and say I had a quick look at all the descriptions for each of these and uh, none of them were different in any way that would indicate one is poured glue and one is double-sided tape. All of them were unavailable, so um, I guess they've also been busy um, or had a lot of buyers. Um, so that was interesting. Um, as you can see, Amazon tracking did not keep up. Um, it said it shipped June 25th and never mentioned it was out for delivery. Um, this won't update probably till at least August 11th, which is my birthday, um, and, or past September 1st maybe. Um, so I took the, the number provided um, below, which I'm not going to show in case it shows any personal information if you were to look it up. But so below here's a, if you scroll up, is a tracking number and I put that in 17 track app and that kept better track of it. Um, okay, I'm just using that to cover up the tracking number, but here we have the information um, that I put in the 17 track app and you can see that um, it didn't update after it arrived in New York, which happened to another package of mine. I think they're so busy, they're leaving customs and not getting scanned, which is fine as long as it arrives. So it came a good bit earlier than uh, was stated, uh, at least three weeks early. Um, so I'm happy with that, but yeah, there's nothing in the description to say hey, this is poured glue and this is um, double-sided tape. I'm hoping they're sticking mostly with poured glue. Um, I am going to write them. I'm not going to ask for a refund because I'm going to fix the canvas myself, which I know I shouldn't have to. Um, it's fine, but I, I want to experiment fixing the canvas myself. So, But I will tell them just so they don't buy from that manufacturer again because it was it was coming up in half-inch spaces and places, and that's just unacceptable. That's not even small rivers that you cut through and push down. Um, so that's my experience with Dylan's Cabin wrapping up. Um, and I just put the names on the end so I can store them on the shelf until I'm ready to do them. And um, not have to keep looking in each box and go, what is this? Um, so anyway, I hope that additional information helps you. And just keep on sparkling.